While the computer virus or worm can thicker sits dormant in millions of American computers, what do programmers believe the potential for havoc is once its power is unleashed? Actually, no one knows what the purpose of configure is. Uh, it's kind of like a sleeper cell. It's being infect it's infecting computers all around the world and just sitting there. It's been there for months. Uh, it could be triggered maybe on April 1st. Uh, it's programmed to receive instructions. But no one knows whether on April 1st they'll just uh, issue uh, an instruction that says just continue sitting there or whether uh, it'll start stealing our money or creating a spam attack. Uh, the truth is nobody knows what it's doing there. Is there anything we vulnerable internet users can do to protect from infection? Well, the best uh, that the experts tell us that we can do is just buy security software, antivirus, anti-worm software, and just make sure it, it it receives the update instructions. What's been going on is that Configur particularly, but worms and viruses in general, um, mutate. It's, it really is like a virus. They become immune to the protections that we throw up against them. It, it, and so if you keep updating, if you receive the software and do the updates, apparently, hopefully, um, you know, you'll be safe. But the truth is we don't even know if that's true. Hmm. And what do experts think should be done to better fight against this formidable enemy when many of the perpetrators are overseas in communities which are not prosecuting the criminal behavior? Well, it appears that many of the hackers are, are in the former Soviet Union and specifically in Russia. And what we found in doing this story is that in Russia, for instance, um, the authorities rarely go after these hackers who in some cases are actually seen as heroes in their local communities because they see uh, stealing from the rich Americans, believe it or not, as an act of patriotism. And uh, they're even celebrated in local newspapers. So, uh, you know, if you're sitting over here and, and one of these hacker hunters, there are people that go out on the web and find who the hacker is, even if you identify them and they're in Russia, um, there may be no way to stop them.